Come here, buddy. What you doing, baby? What's going on, guys? So we've made it to Poncho's Pond in Ludington, Michigan. We're staying here for a week. I'm gonna do a full review of the campground, take you guys all around. This place is huge. Golf cart rentals, you name it. Looks like a really nice place. We just pulled up. We haven't even got our spot yet, so stay tuned. Okay, guys. We're all checked in. We're getting ready to drive back to our spot. We've got a golf cart, so I'm gonna take you guys for a big tour of this place, but I thought I'd take you back on the adventure finding our spot. We have a pull-through spot, which is my absolute favorite because then my wife and I don't have to fight. small convenience store gift shop whatever you want to call it and there's so many people in there right now that I'm not gonna go in there I'll try to catch that later on the video right now we're gonna go around the park we're gonna show you all the facilities there's three pools two outdoor one indoor uh, a couple of hot tubs several bathhouses game rooms so there's a lot of stuff to show you guys
as we're going around in the park, I wanted to show you guys scattered uh, throughout the park. They have these nice little uh, single occupancy restrooms. There, there are quite a few places around. They do have a large bathhouse restroom up by the uh, the swimming pools. I'll show you, but these are very well maintained. You know, they're not big. You do have a single shower in here. It's clean. Plenty of hot water. Toilet, sink, place to set your stuff. So they do a nice job in here. So we're at Ludington State Park today, about a 20 minute drive from the campground. We're gonna try some kayaking and paddle boarding, some stuff we've never done before. So stay tuned for some interesting video. remember how big they say it is but as you'll see behind me right now they have a very large stocked pond they also have a couple of paddle boats that you can rent I'll try to put the prices down below I didn't check that first I will say one thing that really disappointed me with the stocked pond is on the website they tout about how big the pond is and everything you can do uh, in the pond you know fish wise but um, when you get here, you find out on the paper that they hand you that the fishing is for 17 and under only. So I was kind of disappointed in that. They talk about how they stock it, how the fish really bite easy, and then you get here and, and you have to be a kid to fish. I'm going to take you guys over now and show you the laundry facilities and the indoor pool, indoor hot tub area. So we'll go check out the laundry facility first. So as you can see, it's really clean in here. They have plenty of washers and dryers to use. One of the amenities that I thought was really nice was the size of the showers in this building. They are massive. Uh, again, really warm water. These showers are different though. They're the, the push to turn on. Um, all the other showers, you just turn the knob. But as you can see, they're very large showers. Clean, single person use. Several of them down through here. They even have, which I really like, they even have a large handicap shower. 
which is really nice. So now I'm going to take you into the indoor pool and the indoor hot tub, give you a look around there. One thing I want to mention is both of the hot tubs here are adult only, 18 or older. The indoor pool is any age. Uh, I'm going to take you over in a minute to the outdoor pools. One is an 18 and over and the other one's a family pool. Before we headed over there, I want to show you that I think this place does an amazing job uh, sprinkled throughout the entire campground, as you'll see from the rest of the video, of doing little things like this around. It just really adds to the aesthetics of the place and in my opinion it just shows they really care about their campground, their facility, and their campers. As you'll see in the background, they do have a pretty large playground area for the kids, as well as back over in the corner of volleyball court. We've seen people out here playing volleyball, young and old, pretty much all week so far. Behind me, you'll see the main bathhouse area. I'm not gonna go in there because it's a large space, communal space. There's people in there showering. There's like five shower bays in there, two uh, toilets, and I think a couple of latrines. Uh, very clean, I've showered up here every night that I haven't showered in our camper. I'm gonna take you guys around now, give you a walk through of the adult pool, adult hot tub, and the family pool. And we'll walk around to the other side and show you the rest of the stuff. So as you see, here's the adult only hot tub. Here is the adults only pool. It is heated, which is awesome. And then over there is the uh, the family pool. They have a nice cabana area, plenty of seating around here. And I think that building there is like an event center. It is locked, but it's like a large open space. So I think you can have events and stuff there. We're gonna uh, spend plenty of time here, take some, some more dips. Uh, stay tuned. <laughs> So the building directly connected to the outdoor pool area has a fitness center, a small game center, additional laundry facilities. You actually have two outdoor shuffleboard courts, which I'd never played before until we came here. This is actually fun. You don't have to be really old to play this. They also have horseshoes, as you can see. I'll come over here and I'll show you the fitness center the other laundry room, and the game center. And the fitness center is locked. I don't know how you get into it, but there is a fitness center here. 
my fitness was going up and down these stairs to get to the fitness center. So let's go check out the game room and the other laundry facility. Again, the game room's not big, but it's still something. So here's our game room. Pinball, you can't go wrong with pinball. Like I said, this is a really, really nice place. Okay, take you over to the other laundry facility. And then one of the last things I wanna show you guys is their villas that they have here for rent. So here's the other laundry facility, a lot bigger than the other one, the big boy dryers. They also have a book exchange. Guess you take a book, leave a book. Okay, off to the villas. They do have golf cart rental here, which is nice. The place is big enough where you, you'll want a golf cart. Um, they have a name for these smaller villas over here. Villas, whatever the hell you want to call them. Casitas. Um, people are using all of them, so I, I don't want to stop, but I'm just going to give you guys a preview of them. These are the casitas. And then around the corner up here is the villas. Just larger casitas, I guess. Oh, it does appear, I'll cruise by there real quick. It does appear that the owners actually have a house here on the property, so it's really nice. They're always here. There's a lot of staff here. So there's the haciendas and the casitas. Uh, where I'm going back over here is what I was talking about with the owner's house. Which like I said, is just really nice. It shows they're here all the time. They take care of the property. 